right, today we're working on a Jimmy Yancey style bass line. So this is a pretty simple idea that we can take through our 12 bar blues. Jimmy Yancey was a Chicago born boogie woogie player and he was born around 1900. And he had this kind of typical bass line that he loved to play here. And once again, excuse my G, uh, the string was replaced. My G string was replaced, I guess. So, uh, but the, the bass line itself is pretty easy. What you put against it can be as easy or as difficult as you want. So just to walk through the, the real basic uh, line here, it outlines a basic triad of whatever, whatever chord we're on. So if we're in the C blues, we're playing C7, we're going to play F7 and G7, we're going to be moving through our basic major triad positions, right? And so it has this kind of... Has this kind of rolling quality to it, which makes it really cool, okay? And so it's... Uh, so we go to octave position here, we play bottom, top. When we're on the F, uh, when we're on F7. And when we're on G7, we're here in this position. Now when I put that into my 12 bar blues form, I might also combine that with some uh, walk up. So here in my right hand, I'm just going to play some basic uh, C9, F9 kind of voicings um, while I play this bass line here in the left hand to show you. So when I'm practicing this now, this is kind of a tricky left hand line to start practicing putting things on top of. So you just take it really easy and you practice some kind of basic subdivisions first. Like maybe you practice comping some right hand chords against it. And then you work down your subdivisions until you're doing quarter notes, right? And then from that point, you maybe break into playing some blues scale licks. Or, or whatever. Uh, uh, to, to get a little particular, I like it when it feels a little extra bouncy. So I, I think that I'm playing down and then up, down, up when I, when I play this top note. Now, I'm not always able to maintain that um, or, or concentrate on that, but when I get a moment, I try to make sure that I'm playing it that way. It gives it a little bit more spirit. And so, yeah, that's the Jimmy Yancey bass line. It's really simple, and I hope that uh, you take that away and you can learn it in a quick amount of time and get a new style or a new feel you can put into your into your blues. And it also sounds great uh, when you play it a little bit more up-tempo. Up -tempo. So uh, I hope that's helpful, and uh, see what you can do with that. All right.